Hello everybody, hi! We're, um, it's week one. I'm pretty excited for this, I'm not gonna lie. Week one of the FDL, season three. Um, our first match against... Bleh, 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 bleh. Our first match is against Yaya Ball. Good start. <laughs> and their team, the Oakland Octillery. I'm a fan of that one. But yeah, actually, I think there might be a quick pause real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> we are back and we're getting into it. Ooh, I shouldn't have ran. <laughs> Press this in for five. Double battle. But yeah, um, this match is pretty terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they have a lot of threats. Mostly Fluttermain. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's honestly, let's just see how it goes. I'm down for whatever. My assumption is they'll have at least Fluttermane. I can't really make any other guesses, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we'll see pretty much as how it's gonna be. They are about to reveal the team here. Let's see what they got. My hope is kind of that they don't bring King Gambit. Because, I mean, I have a lot of things that are kind of threatening to it. Like Cinderace, like Urshifu, like even Enamorous and Sandy Shocks, like, they're pretty threatening to this thing. Because Enamorous can run superpower, but even that, I mean, I guess they could easily still run them. Let's, um, let's just hope they don't. How about? <laughs> yeah, this is our team for week one. Yeah, I know we have a Vulpix, I'm aware. <laughs> Okay, no, it is just all the monsters, okay. <laughs> Fluttermane, Snorlax, Nike Dory, King Gambit, Arcanine. Look, I have counters, but I'm not like super happy to use them. <laughs> Honestly, I think we lead the same thing I was gonna lead already, which is Jump off Cinderace with the Vulpix in the back, and either Spectre or Namorous or Sandy Shocks. One of these three based on what they have. Looking at it right now, I think... Namorous isn't the best pick. I mean, it's alright, it's fine. Spectre does good against some of it, but not everything. The Terra fighting goes really hard though, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, just because of that, I'm going to start with it. We'll see what happens. Um, I can always switch it up for Sandy Shocks or Enamorous if we need to. But I think this is what I'm going to lead with initially. Okay, no Salamence is nice. I didn't have a lot of stuff for it in particular. Obviously, I can kind of just out-damage it, but it's kind of awkward when, I, when I'm not like exactly ready for it. But they don't have it, so that's nice. But the Fluttermane is obviously a monster still. Let's see what happens, honestly. <laughs> How can I have Fluttermane? Okay, okay, okay. That's not bad at all, actually. We can work with this. Jump off might just explode right now, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Jump off may turn into dust. <laughs> Say speed boost? Speed, okay. Although if I target Ghost, I probably won't die to the Arcanine. But I also don't want to risk that, so I'm just gonna go into Vulpix. I thought I was Flashfire for a moment. Just a moment, I thought I was Flashfire. Almost gave myself a heart attack. Uh, we got Booster Energy on this thing. They're most likely just Max Max, which is pretty fair. Yeah, that, that makes sense, mostly. Probably Terra Fairy or something like that. I'm just gonna mark him down as a pretty generic moveset right now, just for the sake of it. Little ball attack, yeah. No idea what the Arcanine's gonna do. Could really do anything. Could just fly blitz me and kill me instantly. Anyways, I am aware that this is pretty risky. I do land Sweet Powder though, so we take that every day of the week. That is a giant threat, at least temporary, temporarily disabled. <laughs> tell me they don't just fly blitz. Which if they do, it's fine. I am um, Sash, but yeah, okay. 
Well, okay. It might be fine. Oh, thank goodness no burn, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to Terra Ghost and switch out of this thing. <laughs> Into, I guess Spectre works fine, yeah. The Terra Ghost is kind of risky, I'm aware. I mean, they're probably running extreme speed, I'll be honest. Like, realistically, they're probably running extreme speed. Okay, that means they probably didn't switch out or anything, which is pretty good for me, actually. Let's see. We got the terror coming out. Obviously, revealing this early isn't the best idea, but honestly, I'm down. Let's just see if we hit this, I'll be honest with you. Let's just see what we do here. <laughs> Go for the speed, we block it completely, and... We miss, okay. That's actually, oh no, saving all, okay, that's not bad at all. Oh no. Never mind, we're all good. <laughs> this is comedy, this is just a comedy routine, what is going on? Okay, um, safety goggles, that's interesting. So I think we just target the Arcanine here. Um, this isn't the best play in the world, but I'm... I'm just gonna go for it, I'll be real. They bring out Flutterman. Okay, 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 okay. We don't mind that. We don't mind that at all. You miss the sleep powder. Okay. I mean, fair enough. I'm basically spamming it. Um, so we get the Reef of the Shadow Ball. It's gonna do some pretty good damage. It almost takes it out, but it does not actually finish the job. Not the worst thing in the world. I'm not super happy about it, though. The Air Flow into Spectra, it looks like. Yeah, okay. That's pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's pretty not great. Um, hmm, okay. How do I want to go about this question? We only have a couple turns. Oh, they died recall. Right, 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 okay. That's good. I'm happy about that. So, hmm. Cinderace comes in for free and gets a... Kind of just whatever it wants off, actually. Because <laughs> we can go for a Tailwind here and get a free attack off of Cinderace. Obviously, they're expecting a the Sleep Powder, so I think we might want to... Just go all in on the um, Thorlax, even. That might be the player. Obviously, they get their speed boost again. I'm not super happy about that, but it's just how it is. I'm just going for the Snorlax. We're just going to make a read here. Yeah, I'm just being aggressive as hell. <laughs> I kind of need to be, I'll be honest with you. I kind of really need to be. I'm assuming it's like Glenny or something. I don't know what the Snorlax is doing, I'll be honest with you. Just being able to hit it is nice. Um, obviously, unless they're like max visible, it's going to take a lot here. It'll probably, I'll be honest, it might take more from low kick, but it's sun boosted power ball. I'm just going to go for it. Like, if they're expecting to sleep here, they're going to like protect or something like that. I mean, maybe I'm just silly here, but that, that place seems kind of obvious. <laughs> We have a Tailwind. No Protect, so that's not great. We don't like that. <laughs> we hate to see that actually. I missed the Pyro Ball! Okay. <laughs> Dazzling Gleam comes out and absolutely kills Jump Bluff. This is awful, wow. I'm assuming a high horsepower or something is coming out, unless they start cursing up. This is a facade, okay. That hurts, but it's not going to kill me, obviously. Um, I don't know what to do now, I'll be honest with you. That did way too much to Cinderace to make it viable. I should live one more, but it's just the fact that I'm here at all is awkward as heck. So I'm gonna go for a Hypnosis. I'm aware. I'm aware it's risky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Also, they just like revealed what they had in the back for some reason. That was very strange. Whatever, it's not too big a deal. <laughs> this is a very awkward game one, I'm gonna be honest. I've missed like three moves so far. I'm aware Sleep Powder misses. I'm aware. I'm not sitting here like, what? I missed Sleep Powder? What? But the Pyro Ball hurts. The Pyro Ball hurts a lot. That was gonna chunk the crap out of that Snorlax. Okay, the Terror's coming out. I'm curious who's Terroring into what? Like, I don't even know. Snorlax does Terra, okay. Um, Terra Fire, not... I'm glad I didn't do what I was gonna do. 
Okay, um, let's hope we get the Symphnosis, eh? Get the Powerball, it should just take this thing out like immediately. Yeah, not even close. Waterman goes down. This is suddenly, if I hit the Symphnosis, we're actually back in it super hard. We do land it, nice, okay. We're back, we're so back. Unless they're like a Lumberry. Oh god, they're probably Lumberry. They're not Lumberry, okay, let's go, nice. That's perfect. I feel like if they had higher power, they would have gone for it, so they probably don't then. So we're in a great position all of a sudden. This is super awkward, but now we're like back in it. So honestly, we just go for a heat wave and then we powerball the Venistar right now. Yeah, like why not? Because they can't terror, they're stuck in sleep for at least one turn. For at least this turn, they're stuck in sleep. Okay. And we're faster and we get the heat wave off too. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> So it's probably heat proof considering it lived that, unless it's like insanely bulk invested. I'm assuming it's heat proof. Oh, we know it's heat proof because it came in and didn't. Well, no, if it wasn't. How does that interaction work? If you're at max HP, does that even show up? I'm not sure it does. Hmm. I don't know. I think we helping hand low kick here and we just hope for the best. It's pretty awkward still. I'm not gonna lie. This is a pretty awkward game. I'm not sure I'll be able to win this one, but I'll certainly try my best. <laughs> Transform into fighting tag, yep. Oh my god, that did a lot. Holy crap. And it's fast asleep, so I think that's it. Yeah, that's just GG. Alright. We, we win game one. Hell yeah. Nice. I mean, I, I would hope so. I don't see why I wouldn't I wouldn't have at this point, but... Because I should slot at speed. Yeah, that Tailwind is super clutch. I'm super glad I went for it. Um, with the Galab Hand, we get the... Get the low kick off, and it should just take it out. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's like 120 power low kick, Terra stab. Or not Terra, just stab fighting move. Like, it's pretty strong. If this thing isn't, like, super bulk invested, it's probably just getting chunked every time that happens. So we can win game one. It seemed pretty hopeless after those misses, but honestly, we brought it back pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. But, um, yeah, we still have another game to win. And another game to lose. <laughs> but, alright. How do I want to change my game plan up is what I want to think about. Um, because how are they going to change their game plan up? Same rules. I'm not sure I want to Terra the jump off again. I do think Spectre goes insanely hard. <laughs> like seriously, I think it does super well. Um, and Amaris does okay. The fact that it's still weak to a lot on their team is pretty awkward. Based on what they brought just last game, which was the Flutterman, the Snorlax, the Arcanine, the Sinistra, it does pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It does pretty great, actually. So I'm honestly down to bring in Amorous this game, just to, just to give it a chance. Alright, preparation is complete. I'm going to lead an Amorous jump off. I'm not gonna worry about tail winning too much. Um, I mean, I kind of do get a free one off, no matter what. I think Cinderace is way too good not to bring. Fulbix is kind of awkward, but... Maybe we just bring all the heavy hitters. I don't necessarily need Chlorophyll. Obviously it helps a lot against stuff like Fluttermane, but... I'm down to run this. I'm down to run this setup, yeah. Sammy Tox is great into other matchups on their team, like in Gambit. But I have a lot of stuff here to deal with it already. I mean... I don't need it. This is the main point I'm making here. <laughs> I'm not required to bring that thing. Um, the fact that I can possibly negate the Intimidates from... Not even negate, just like, gain boosts from it is pretty nice from the Arcanine. Because I'm running Contrary um, and Amorous. Um, nothing on it should be changing its stats in that way. The only thing they have is Intimidate, but that's fine. Because if I'm spamming Contrary boosted um, superpowers, that's pretty nice. And as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, <laughs> they're not running bulky Fluttermane, they're running offensive Fluttermane, so we're in a pretty good spot when it comes to killing it early. Um, let's pull up that Enamorous set again that I have. Um, Ironhead just kills cleanly. If they're not running like actual bulk investment, which I, I'm kind of leaning towards they don't. And they really don't have a chance to kill me back in any way. Just anyway, actually, this, they don't. 
Wait, really? Even Terra Flying kills that? That's really weird, huh? It's a weird calc, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Um, yeah, same lead. I think this is even better than what we had before. <laughs> Um, the fact that I can tear ghosts here is probably enough of a dissuasion that I can just go for the tailwind even. We'll see though, I'm not sure. With plus one, we pretty much always take that, so... I think I'm good to just go for an Iron Head. Just straight up, yeah. And either a Rage Powder or a Tailwind. I think we just go for Rage Powder, yeah. I'm down to do this, yeah. Jump Off doesn't need to tank Water Hits, so it just needs to take out the Flutter Man early. <laughs> Which I'm not sure they even know that I have, like, Iron Head, basically. <laughs> not that I need Iron Head, to be honest with you. I probably could kill any of my moves right now. The Terror is coming out. I'm curious who that is. Probably the Butterman. I mean... Oh, it's Dark Knight. Okay. What do we got? Terror Poison. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty awkward, I'm not gonna lie. In terms of, like, taking it out soon... Kinda awkward for me, but we go for the Rage Powder. Obviously they're safety goals, so they go through that. But it's mostly for the Flutter Man. Yeah, yep, yep, exactly. So we knew it had two wave already. It means they're probably not running Moonblast, I'm just realizing. Go for the Iron it should just take it out. Yep, it does cleanly do that. We love that, we love seeing that completely. Go for the Terra Poison, it takes me down to the... Oh wait, nevermind, safety calls, right, right, yeah, fair enough. Does that kill me? It does take me out, but honestly, that's a pretty good trade, I'm gonna be honest. We, we, we take that trade every time, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think we go straight into Cinderace, I could be wrong here, but... We go into Cinderace with the hope that I can maybe switch into the other one in case I need to. We haven't seen the Protect from Snorlax, so I'm thinking it might be AV even? So far, I think we've only seen Facade, I think. Yeah, it's basically just slept every time I've seen it, so I think we could honestly go pro. A weird play here, but I think I might just burn the Arcanine even. That's not a bad call. I'm down. I'm honestly down to burn the Arcanine here. I think that's a pretty good interaction for us. We don't want to burn the Snorax, because obviously it's Facade. We know that now, which is nice, but... I'm gonna scout for the Protect, kind of. I'm not literally scouting for it, but I'm just... I'm, I'm not going for the Snow Axe inherently. Obviously, we don't mind a Sleep Powder landing, but I'm not expecting it to, really. Go for the Wisp, it lands, and it is burning, though, which is a weird interaction, but we take that every time. <laughs> I'm still kind of not used to it. Like, just the idea of an Arcanine being burned is funny to me. That does absolutely nothing. Just zero damage. I think they expected a switch from the extreme speed, but I'm not going for it. Um, what's the Snorax going for? Power Spar, maybe? No, just Facade again. Okay, we take that over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely take that. So if they go for the E-Speed now, I think this is now when we go to Spectre. This is kind of risky, I'm aware. I kind of just want to go for it. I think it just sounds fun. <laughs> now we go for the Reed. Worst case, they flare blitz me. I take like a lot of health because I'm still just Spectre or bulk wise. Go for the lower bits again. Fair enough. Does a lot. Does a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie. It does a lot. Um, we miss the sleep powder. Okay, that's awesome. We love that. Goes for the curse. Yep. Okay, it is curse. No, it's probably rest. Then now I'm thinking about it. And it's probably rest lax, maybe body press even? I'm not sure exactly what it'll have, but I feel like body press sends out about right. Um, so we go for Shadow Ball here? I think we go for Shadow Ball, yeah. And just see how much it does. I mean, it's probably bulkier Arcanine. Could be speed invested, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we go for the Shadow Ball. How much is this doing? It's Life Orb. I'm pretty strong. It just just take it out. Okay. Hold on. I'm not gonna celebrate yet. We still have to land a sleep powder here. Which is pretty unlikely, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty unlikely, I'm not gonna lie. We do land it, okay. That's huge, that's enormous even. Because I can go for a protect here and just go for a YOLO tailwind at the end here. Because they have another mod, I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure they have another mod in the back. 
In game, okay, here he is. Here's the guy. Everybody freak out, it's the guy. <laughs> no, I'm definitely terrifying this thing immediately. <laughs> and I think we just go for rage powder. Or rage powder. Because <laughs> now we... If we get this rage powder off and we live the encounter, which I'm pretty sure if I get this, um... If they go for Sucker Punch here, I think I live this. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I live this. <laughs> Let's see. Get the rage powder off. That's super great. We love to see that. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. We go for the Terror Blast. Un unadulterated Terror Blast. No Cobra Berry. How much we get? We just take it out first turn. Nice! That's amazing! And... I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch that. Maybe GG. I'm not sure. Because Snow Axe is still asleep. No, he woke up. Okay. That's not bad. Look at the Heavy Slam. Does a crap ton. Does so much, actually. Jesus Christ. I'm going to go for another Rage Powder, I think. That might be it. I could be wrong. Either. Get another Rage Powder. I'm really surprised by that. Okay. Huh. We take that every day of the week, though. Seriously. How much are we doing with this? I feel like I might just take it out of any. It's on plus two. It does just take it out. Alright. GG! That was a lot of fun. I'm super happy how my tech worked out. But yeah, honestly, yeah. That was a lot of fun. Um, GG CIA Ball. And the... I already forgot your team name, sorry. <laughs> um, the Oakland Octillery. Um, crafting for your team is absolutely terrifying. I just gotta make clear. Super scary team to prep for. <laughs> the Fluttermane, the King Gambit, freaking Sinistar with the Arcanine Snorax core. Horrifying to prep for. But yeah. Um, I guess that'll be it for this first game. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, we get it in pretty early so I can be ready for next week in time. But yeah, have a good day, everybody.